Welcome to Skywarn, severe weather training from NOAA's National Weather Service in Bismarck, North Dakota. I'm John Paul Martin, your Warning Coordination Meteorologist. In this segment, we'll talk about watches and warnings. But before we get right into that, I want to mention that the National Weather Service issues advisories for weather events that are less significant and do not threaten life or property. Watches, on the other hand, are issued for more significant events that could threaten life or property. Watches have quite a bit of uncertainty in that the exact timing or location that could be impacted is still in question. When the picture becomes more clear, warnings are issued. Again, warnings for more significant life-threatening weather events that have a high certainty of occurrence. A watch, during a watch, you want to keep alert and be ready to act if necessary. Think of that as a yellow light. For a warning, that's a red light. Stop what you're doing and take action. Again, a watch, keep alert, be ready to act. A warning, take action right now. For flash flooding, too much water in a short period of time that causes significant flooding and threatens life or property, the National Weather Service issues watches and warnings. Flash flood watches and warnings may also be issued for ice jams and for dam breaks. With tornadoes, when you hear tornado watch, that means tornadoes are possible. For warnings, that means a tornado has been sighted or indicated by radar. Warnings would be issued in that situation and you need to take action immediately and get inside to a basement shelter. Large hail and high wind often occur with thunderstorms. If the hail is one inch in diameter or larger, that's the size of a quarter or larger, by definition it's large hail and the National Weather Service issues a severe thunderstorm warning for that. High wind with respect to thunderstorms is defined as 58 miles an hour or higher. Those are wind gusts. When we feel the thunderstorm will produce wind gusts of 58 miles per hour or higher, a severe thunderstorm warning would be issued. Ahead of time, when the chance for severe thunderstorms is increasing, oftentimes a watch would be issued. Watches are issued for large areas and for a long period of time. It means that the hazardous weather event is possible, but not yet certain. Again, a warning on the other hand means the life-threatening weather is about to happen or is happening already. During the winter time for severe winter weather, warnings and watches are issued for things like blizzards, winter storms, and wind chill, but the focus here is more on severe summer weather associated with thunderstorms. Watch products, again, the National Weather Service issues severe weather watches. They're issued for a large area and a long time. Maybe half the state of North Dakota would be in a watch and it would be valid for six hours or so. Again, this is for severe summer type weather. If the watch is for severe thunderstorms, that means conditions in the atmosphere are right so that if thunderstorms develop, they could be severe. Tornado watches are issued when conditions in the atmosphere are right so that if thunderstorms develop, not only could they be severe with large hail and high wind, but they could produce tornadoes. Warnings, on the other hand, are issued for smaller areas. Polygons are drawn for thunderstorm warnings. They're usually valid for an hour or less. Again, warnings are issued by polygon for smaller areas. A severe thunderstorm warning means severe weather, large hail or high wind, has been reported or indicated by radar. Tornado warnings mean that a tornado has been spotted and the report is considered reliable, or radar indicates rotation reaching the ground or about to reach the ground, prompting a tornado warning. For flash floods, watches and warnings are also issued. 
A flash flood watch means flash flooding is possible. It's also issued for the potential or possibility for a dam failure or the possibility of ice jam related flooding. Again, those watches are usually issued for larger areas and longer periods of time. For flash flooding associated with thunderstorms, if the National Weather Service is forecasting thunderstorms with heavy rain over already saturated ground, oftentimes flash flood watches would be issued for that, highlighting the possibility of flash flooding. Flash flood warnings, on the other hand, are issued when flash flooding is expected to occur or has been reported. Warnings for flash flooding would also be issued for dam failures where a sudden rush of water would come through an area or for ice jam related flooding. I want to thank you for listening to this segment and watching and I ask you to stay weather ready.